Recently, I've been making a lot of videos about some of my favorite TV shows like Moral Laurel and Slings and Arrows, and I hope to bring a larger audience to some great underappreciated series I feel need more attention. I've also been covering quite a bit of Lost content on this channel, mostly regarding Game Dude and Nobuhiko Obayashi, in an effort to unearth some more gems out of their respective legacies. I figure why not cross these two topics and talk about one of my favorite TV shows that unfortunately I can't watch anymore. Serene Noir is a French-Canadian crime dramedy series which aired for two seasons from 2014 to 2016. The title of the show translated to English means A Run of Bad Luck. The series was a big hit in Quebec, winning several awards and receiving plenty of reviews highly lauding the show's accomplishments. Originally broadcast on the French language channel Radio Canada, I discovered the series when it was released on Canadian Netflix around 2015. I had never heard of the show, but the premise sounded really intriguing, so I put it on my watch list and eventually got around to viewing it. I'm glad I saw it when I did, because in 2019, the series got pulled from Netflix, which to this day is the only place I know of where it had English subtitles. Long story short, I absolutely loved the series and was really hoping it would receive more recognition outside of its home province. Sadly, not only has that not happened, but I can't find the series with English subtitles anywhere. I personally would love to make a retrospective video about it like I did with Slings and Arrows, but because of Seri Noir's limited availability, I am unable to do so. Instead, this video is going to be more of a public service announcement to get more people aware of Seri Noir's existence. To give a brief overview of the show itself, it follows two television show writers named Dennis and Patrick, who are showrunning a critically panned crime drama on Quebec TV. Both writers despise their show and are dismayed when the network picks it up for a second season. In an effort to write their show better, Dennis and Patrick decide to get wrapped up in the criminal underworld of Montreal in order to add authenticity to their scripts. After this, things get out of hand as they come in contact with darker and more dangerous situations than they were anticipating. A lot of Dennis and Patrick's personalities stem from the fact that they are nerdy TV writers who often speak in movie references. A lot of times this approach can make characters shallow, but in this case it actually adds extra layers of depth to them. It goes to show how in over their heads Patrick and Dennis are in these dangerous situations, having experienced life mostly through media and references. I remember there was a scene in the second season which basically turned into a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the pig blood scene from Carrie, which was really funny. If I could compare the tone of the show to anything, I'd say it's kind of like Breaking Bad meets Spaced, if you can imagine that. Breaking Bad and Spaced are easily two of my favorite shows, and Serena Noir deserves to be held on the same high pedestal. My favorite character in the show is a man named Mark Arkind. Mark Arkind is an unhinged man with a violent past who watches Dennis and Patrick's show. He realizes one of the characters in the show shares the same name as him, so he believes Dennis and Patrick to be writing the show about the actual experiences of Mark Arkind. Because of this, he seeks the two writers out to get them to write the Mark Arkind character in their show more accurately. Mark Arkin manages to create a lot of humor in the show while making it very tense at the same time. You know he could freak out and severely harm either Dennis or Patrick if they don't follow his vision of the show, which can be both funny and scary. From here on, Seri Noir gets even crazier, introducing plotlines about homosexual gangsters, dead bodies, and prostitutes. I won't reveal too much about what happens, as I don't want to misrepresent the show from my recollection, but needless to say it had me enthralled for all 22 episodes of its two-season run. Seri Noir by all means deserves a full in-depth review and analysis, and I hope to provide that one day on this channel. Seri Noir was created by Francois Letourneau and Jean-Francois Rivard. I hope I'm pronouncing those correctly. The former also stars in the show as the character Dennis. This writing team also collaborated on the French-Canadian television show Les Invincibles, also which starred Letourneau. Francois Letourneau also wrote and starred in the 2020 series Happily Married, as well as the 2006 film Cheech which was based off of a play he wrote. All these projects have received critical acclaim among the few people who have seen them, garnering many awards and positive reviews. I have not seen any of these projects and am unaware of their availability, but based on Seri Noir, I would be very interested in checking out the rest of Francois Letourneau's body of work and hope to see more English releases of his shows. Something tells me we could have another underrepresented genius working out of the French-Canadian television industry. When it comes to Seri Noir specifically, I know that official English subtitles do exist for the show, as they were on Canadian Netflix up until around 2019. I really hope Netflix puts Sereno R back on their service, and maybe even brings it to other countries. Even if it's a foreign production, Sereno R has an intriguing premise, and enough comedy, drama, and pop culture references to where I can see it connecting with a wider audience. Also, given the success of Squid Game, 
Netflix probably knows by now that foreign TV shows are not incredibly niche as they once were. On that note, I do hope they don't add a god-awful dub to Serena Noir like they did with Squid Game. The first two seasons of Serena Noir were released on DVD, but they are currently unavailable. The only eBay listings I've found for these products command ridiculously high prices and do not contain English subtitles from what I've seen. Episodes of the series have also been uploaded to Dailymotion, as well as certain clips on YouTube, but once again without English subs. This proves that while the series isn't entirely lost, the English subtitles for it existing on Netflix might be. In my search for subtitles online, I kept being led to the subtitles for a 1979 French crime film also known as Serena Noir. I haven't seen this film, and while it probably has nothing to do with the television series, it does seem to have positive feedback from online reviews I've read. The English subtitles for this movie are definitely available, so as a bonus, there's something that potentially is worth checking out too. Maybe I'll do a full review of that movie if I ever get access to the TV show it shares its name with. I really hope that either Netflix subtitles for this show become available again, or somehow we get a new fan sub from a bilingual French-Canadian with a little bit of spare time on their hands. The ball is in your court, internet. What I can say for certain is that Serena Noir is an underrated masterpiece worth preserving and sharing with a wider audience. If you ever get the chance to view it somewhere, I highly suggest you take that opportunity and give it the watch it deserves.